Hi, I'm Amanda. This is The Social Studio and thanks for joining us. This week's little tutorial for you is all about shearing. After I made my Asher dress from Stylark, a lot of you had said that you'd never done shearing before and was a little bit unsure how to actually achieve the results and I promise you it is so easy, it really is. So I'm going to show you on my next Asher that I've already cut out how I actually achieved those shearing lines. So we've got the Asher dress pattern here which is laid onto my fabric. At the top waist it has, it indicates the eight rows of shearing where they're needed. You have a centimetre seam allowance and then the notch for your first start line of shearing. What I do is just nick in a quarter of an inch on the top and the bottom one. Once you put your first line of shearing in, which will be at three quarters of an inch on the top one, we can then place a marker on our foot to then start working down a quarter of an inch in between until we have our eight rows of shearing and we've got our marker for the last row placement. I've chosen my top thread and then I've chosen the shearing elastic that will go into the bobbin. So I've gone with a grey because I think that's going to blend in really well. Shearing elastics come in different shades. So we hold black, a pale blue, standard white, the red, and there is a cream as well uh, that we're waiting for stops to come in. So you just choose an elastic that is actually going to blend through with your fabric on those. And then we'll start to wind the bobbin up with those. Place your elastic on the spool holder as you would normally would. Empty bobbin. Take your end and just thread it up through the little thread guide. Place it onto the spool holder. You can wind these by hand, but I do prefer to do it um, on the machine. Now we're not going to put it through the tension guide because that will put too much tension onto it. Put your speed medium. Click it into place, just going to do a couple of revolutions just to get the anchorage through, hopefully that's held it, and then just a slight pull onto the elastic and just let that feed through nice and steady, filling up your bobbin. Now dependent on the, the amount of shearing that you're doing, you may find that you'll need to wind a couple of reels of the bobbin elastic up so you've got enough there we go so it'll start because it's thicker it'll finish a little bit sooner than your normal thread so it needs to be firm but not too tight and then we're ready to drop that into our bobbin holder as we would normally i've threaded my normal top thread through the machine as normal then with the bobbin Drop that in through the normal tension underneath, pull that under and then we'll bring up the shearing elastic through the thread plate and place that through the back. Let's put the cover on. Okay, so stitch selection is going to be straight and the stitch length I take up to a stitch length of three. I've then got my fabric that is going to be sheared through and I've got the first notch on there so I'm going to place under sink my needle and we're off now I'm going to do a couple of stitches forward and then reverse stitch to lock that in and continue working my way across and you can see already that it's starting to gather that fabric through. I'm approaching the end, I've kept my line and as I get to the end again I will finish off with a couple of back tack stitches, lift my needle, pull out 
again make sure that you pull quite the bit because you don't want it pinging back through and then cut the threads now ready so we can see how wonderful that has gone through to start my second row of stitching I'm going to line up the edge of the presser foot with the original line of shearing stitching and I've moved my needle position over on this machine I've moved it from a 3.5 central to needle position 6 to the right and that will give me a quarter inch gap distance and I've now got a marker that I can follow through on my next row again start off so reverse and as we work our way through just keep gently pulling and keeping your work flat otherwise you'll get tucks and pleats which is not what we want so we're just pulling it smooth And with some reverse stitch, needle up and pull back out for the second time. Get the threads and we'll proceed the same way until we've got our eight rows of shearing. Eight beautiful rows of shearing springing back which will be so comfortable to wear and take the end threads pull them all out and just cut those off whoops I slip it nice and even when we put the seams together it will lock in the end of the shearing as well and for this particular dress I then overlock the seams together which again will lock in and make those a little bit stronger so there we have it shearing in a nutshell hope you found that really useful and that you feel inspired to have a little go at it it really is super easy and such good fun i'll put all the links to the products down below don't forget to give us a thumbs up guys if you liked it and subscribe just to share the sewing love have yourselves a really super week. Take care now and happy shearing. Bye.